All right, 3.1.23, y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3 all over square root of x. We are going to find the derivative of this function. First of all, do not use the quotient rule. Second of all, you can use the power rule right away. This is how we are going to do it. Usually in calculus, you don't want to look at the square root function, all right? But you do want to look at the square root of x as x to the 1 half power. Let me rewrite this as x squared plus 4x plus 3 all over x to the positive 1 half. Then, um, in order for us to avoid use the quotient rule here, we have one thing on the denominator. We can split the fractions. So, so far I'm just changing the equation. I haven't done anything with the power rule. I haven't found the derivative of this equation yet. So, I'm going to split the fraction as this. x squared over x to the 1 half plus 4x over x to the 1 half. Let me write this down. 4x over x to the 1 half. Then I have 3 over x to the 1 half. However, we are still not ready yet because this x to the second power over x to the 1 half power, we must reduce the exponents. We must combine the exponents. All right? So one more step. y is equal to, if we cannot just combine the exponents, we are going to do, what we are going to do is, you take 2 minus 1 half, 2 minus 1 half, and the exponent on the top, minus the exponents on the bottom, 2 minus 1 half, it's going to be 3 half, plus 4x, this is x to the 1, 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, so I have 4x to the 1 half, plus I have no um, x right here, so I have 3, and the x to the 1 half is on the denominator, I can bring that up and I will get negative 1 half. So we are ready. All of this right now is just rewrite our equation as x to some power, x to some power, x to some power. And this exponent right here is not going to be affected by anything else. All right, we are able to differentiate that. And in this case, let me use dy dx. I can also use y prime, right? Those notations are interchangeable. So what we're going to do is the power rule, I can use, you know, circle the exponents, bring to the front, and then don't forget we are going to minus 1. So let's just focus one part at a time. So if you do circle the exponents to the front, I will get 3 half and the x. 3 half minus 1, work out a fraction, you will get 1 half. Right? And let's work out the second part. I have positive 4, x to the 1 half. Circle the exponents, bring to the front, and then minus 1 to the exponents. Positive 4 times positive 1 half, I get positive 2, and I have x. 1 half minus 1 is going to be negative 1 half. And then the last part is this. The last part is going to be, I take the exponent, which is negative 1 half, and bring to the front, and then minus 1. Then what we're going to end up with, positive 3 times negative 1 half, I will get minus 3 half, and the x. Be careful with the subtraction negative 1 half minus 1, you work out the fractions, you get negative 3 half. And this is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. If you write this down on the test, that will be correct. But sometimes you may also want to rewrite the equation so that you can match the answer in the back of the book. So what we can do is, um, the 3 half x to the 1 half power, I can write this as 3 half, and this is the positive exponent, so I can write this as square root of x on the numerator, right? plus I have 2, and this is the negative exponent, negative 1 half exponent, so I can bring this part down to the denominator, and that's square root of x. And the third part is minus, let me just write down the fraction first, 3 over 2. But this part, be careful, um, you have a negative exponent, so the result is going to be on the denominator. The denominator of the exponent, which is the half right here, this part turns into a square root. And we do still have the x to the third power. So it's going to look like this, x to the third power inside like that. So if you would like, maybe you may like this better. dy dx is equal to 
all this is your answer. 答案。